good, mate. You? Good. Wow. What? This camera makes the face look very red. Am I red in, in the flesh? <laughs> Nowhere near as red as that, mate. Oh. Um, Turn it around. I don't know how. How's it going? No, no, let me have a look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You look like your son. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'm Dave. How you going? Hey, I'm Trent. <laughs> it's Bobby. Bobby. Trent's shed. This is our RX-7. So, what we've done with this car so far is what was supposed to be a mild restoration. Um, the car is pretty much immaculate and original. Mm. And we had a few small paint blemishes on it. So, we just put it through a, uh, a bare metal respray. It's come up looking great, but uh, unfortunately, on the way home from picking it up from paint and getting a few other parts for it, Dave blew it up. Yeah. How'd so, that happen, mate? So the story goes, there was a uh, an AU Falcon on the highway. Explain for our American viewers what an AU is. Oh. The AU Falcon is like the six-cylinder Mustang from 2001. It's almost like Australia's version of Nissan's GTR, isn't it? Come on, mate. Let's not start this video off on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> so, just a shit box. And um, we decided, we saw they were a bit cheeky in the rearview mirror and thought we'd give them a little bit of a, little bit of a go and just drop back a gear. And you gotta go, dude. The whole car's just dropped power and it felt like, it actually felt like the car was turned off. We'd nursed it into a, uh, into a service station and it felt like it was running really rough, running on one rotor, we suspected. We didn't have any tools on us. Um, we made sure it wasn't getting hot, wasn't burning coolant, and we ended up sort of nursing the car back home after after debating whether to tow it or not. And it made it back fine, no dramas. And since then, we've pulled the plugs out of it um, and compression tested it, and there's next to no compression in the in the rear uh, rotor housing. So pretty much what you're seeing now is we've disconnected all the radiator, the loom, pretty much everything now actually. And, yeah, um, bell housing, yep. dump pipe, all that's done. Yep, pulling the motor out to um, to rebuild it, which is it's kind of a blessing in disguise, I think, because you can probably see the pulleys and whatnot there. You know, they're original; it's never been out before, so it's got oxidation all over it. It's probably a good time for a little freshen up. We can get it looking really good. If you're a car fan, you can appreciate just how original all of it is. Uh, Dave and I have gone to to pretty great lengths to um, to preserve that and. And get some original parts for it that were missing. So, yeah. Here in Australia, they're getting kind of um, kind of hard to find in good condition. Like they are very hard to find actually. So when you see one that's, you know, pretty much in in one piece, well, it was. It's worth saving. Yeah. So the plan is sort of do it up, keep it, and we'll hold on to it. Sounds good. All right. Let's uh, get this crane out and um, start pulling the engine out. Yep. So. This is the oil cooler, all RX-7s have them. Need to get this off. Trent's already spent the rest of the afternoon yesterday just undoing the engine mounts, the dump pipe. Once this is off, what else is left? That's it. That's it. Eat the burrito and then uh, <laughs> actually comes. Magic burrito. Cool, all right. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. Got that oil cooler line off and tucked away so we can pull the motor out. But then under here, there's another line that runs somewhere up there. It might run back to the sun. Yeah. Can't see it, man. I reckon we might have to just pull the motor up and as we pull it, try and get to it. Okay. Right. Well, I don't know if Dave explained it or wasn't listening, but. This bolt in here is coming from the engine side to the transmission side rather than the other way around. And we can't really pull it out because this manifold's in the way. So we either get the die grinder out and chop it off and save ourselves 40 minutes. Or we undo four bolts and take the manifold off. Are they only four bolts? Probably. I wish I wasn't. I wish I didn't think that. Okay. All right. 
manifold coming off to get to the stubborn bolt. Oh, they're nuts. Have we got bags? We've been trying to, well, we have been bagging yeah, and tagging yeah. everything, which is really important because you never get it back how you had it unless you bag it. And I just dropped it down. So, we've got movement. But where? Surely it doesn't just bolt down on one side. This one right here, it's from the engine side to the transmission side. It's, it's in a, backwards. It's a belly. Belly. Oh. Belly. The belly. The belly. Hey. The top one. This one here. So, guys, just to give you a, a bit of a rundown. Uh, that before, one there? Mm. Yeah. No, 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 this one, here, just there. No, that was just a... No, 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 come forward, come to the passenger side. Yeah, there. That one? Yes. The thread, yeah, we got that. How? So guys, to give you a bit of a rundown, Brian is my neighbour. Shit, it's Brian. And before we, before Dave and I bought this car, uh, a friend of Brian's used to own it, and he told us where it actually lived. So we went around and bought it. But uh, Brian was the last person to take the gearbox out of it. <laughs> he put a clutch in it. <laughs> and oh, yeah. Dave and I are baffled <laughs> as to how he got this bolt in from the front side. Coming up. Coming See out the big here. hose there, Brian? Gotcha. The gearbox yeah, 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 yeah. off and yep. actually dropped the whole gearbox. Oh, okay, I understand. Hmm. Which means that. Yeah. We can just move the motor forward. Yeah. yeah. It does if we can maneuver the crane enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, that means that we can bolt that manifold back up. Yeah. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Saved us, mate. Thank you. Maybe. No, that's what that, because we just actually slid the box back. Yeah. Dropped yeah, the whole box. Right. Recap we don't need to get that bolt out. The impossible bolt. As long as we can maneuver the crane enough mm. to get the engine to slip forward as far as we need it to. So we might have to move the car a little bit because we haven't got heaps of room on oh, stands. Don't worry about doing these back up. What this? I think the back one attaches to it though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, let's whack them back together, and we're pretty much good to at least start. Are they nuts? Yeah, giving it a little tug. <gasps> That's what she said. Alright, so um, we're just about getting ready to pull the motor out, so we're going to drain it of oil so we don't spill it anywhere. I wonder what we're going to find when we pull this motor apart. I'm expecting a loose apex seal that's gone around the Take inside of the housing a million times and a fucked housing. Yeah, it's taking chunks out of the housing. Yeah. That's what I think. Getting oil out, everything's undone. We should, well, besides one oil cooler line, which we can't get to, and the fact that the power steering is hanging around like a bad smell, <coughs> we should be able to pull it forward and maybe get it up. So we need we're going to try and take the easy route, and pull the engine up, and then just crack it when it's easy, uh, easier to access. Yeah. All right. This is Trent, my dyslexic friend. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs> okay. Off signing. Off signing. <laughs> Off. What? Sorry. I <laughs> <laughs> like the dyslexic duo. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's do it. We decided to move the car inside so we can keep working on a level ground. And it gives us a bit of room to get the engine set up nice and high. Pull this motor out. So we're going to set up the hoist and then we'll be sweet. So we've got the crane attached. We've given it a little lift so far but we've still got the um that bolt that we were talking about earlier i can't even see it from here Pass down there, oh, there you go. it's um we have to slide the engine that bolt stays in the motor and we have to slide it through the hole in the gearbox so that it sort of pops off it so we need to get the engine as far forward as we can so it Before actually lift finally it. releases yep i reckon we've got to get the crowbar in there mate try and give it a bit of a jiggle
have split the box and the motor and we realized we'd loosened the dump off but it hadn't quite split it. So had to jack it up, um, get some stands under it and trans underneath it. Can you guys see that? I'm not sure. I'll I've come got a around. crowbar in between the dump and the back of the turbo. So he's got a crowbar in there to try and separate it. You'll see that there. Are all those studs clear, Dave? Yeah, I think so, mate. Give it a good pop. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, they're just off. off. Sweet. And... If all goes well, motor. that should be one of the last things stopping the motor from coming out. Yeah. We just got that um, oil line, that's it. Oh, yes. All right, let's give it a crack. How you going, B1? Could be better. P2. So, motor's free. Everything's all groovy. Except for this bit of loom here, which runs up. I think it runs to the injectors which are underneath. That's a big, big, big piece of loom for injectors only. Yeah, well, where's it going, mate? What else is up there? It's massive. It might have a lot of shit intertwined in it. Oh, fuck this. Okay. Beer o'clock, I reckon. Yep. So, what's happened is, as Dave explained before, we missed that gigantic anaconda-like piece of loom because we're both fucking blind and uh, now we're going to disconnect it from the ECU side and just feed it through the firewall so we, we don't have to take the uh, manifold off. Wait. <laughs> Dude imagine if like it hasn't like we just compression tested it wrong and it's totally fine. Alright, have a look at that. So, is that it? Are they just clips or is there a, uh, a 10 mil holding the uh, main thing in there? I think they're just clips. Okay. Sweet. But, how are we even going to get this through the firewall? It should be a, um, a rubber bung. Yeah, it push it out. I haven't seen them on this, but my other one's like right under the dash. Alright, so I just disconnected. Uh, the engine part of the ECU harness and I don't know if you can see up there I can't really see what I'm filming but there's uh, another plug there and a couple more in this general area that have to be disconnected and Dave's just pulled them through the firewall one two three four so Found a cool website. We might even actually um put it the link in the description. Yeah, because we sort of just fumbled our way through it through this so far, but that has given pretty clear instructions and we're not too far off the mark. But I think it's meant to be uh two white connectors. This looks like it was once upon a time white and um two yellow. That's series fours, series fives have just two big yellow ones apparently, according to this resource. You gotta move your charcoal canister to get to it. Which is this big black thing here, which I've spun around. Tuck it back in there so it's out of the way. I need some light, man, because I need to um, see where this harness is tucked. All right. It's going to get caught. All right, so um, we've just finally disconnected the power steering pump, and that should be the last little bit that needs to come. <laughs> We've got the uh, famous last words. Yeah, the aircon. That one there. It's alright, we knew that. We just forgot about it when we were talking there. Under um, that one. So, 22. Oh. Ah. Catch yourself. My David Bowie just got wrecked. Alright. Should be loose. What's that? <laughs> Is that a return bolt for the cooler? Yeah, it's, no, it's the banjo bolt that goes in the back here. All right, let's crack that. <laughs> Take 798 of, yep, that should be just about everything, mate. 9,000 years later. <laughs> <laughs> dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun. Wait, wait, what's that? Are you fucking kidding me? 
No, it's stuck. There's a bloody piece Strap of it. around it. Yeah. I didn't even see that. Which way does it go? What else? What else could you possibly throw at me, RX-7? How about a heater hose, Dave? No, 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 no. Is it connected? Oh. Oh. <laughs> cool. Didn't even have to disconnect the power steering. Just get a tire. Whack that in it. Nah, let's put it straight in the back of the U. Unless you want to pull it apart here. Should we pull it apart? If you want. Could film it. We're pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe this is the end of video one. Yeah. Pulling a motor out. Alright, there you have it. Thanks for watching. It's done.